This episode is brought to you by Indie Film Hustle TV, the world's first streaming service dedicated to filmmakers, screenwriters, and content creators. Learn more at IndieFilmHustle.tv. He says, go make, South, go make Platoon in Philippines. So I'm going from Mexico right to Philippines <laughs> with $6 million now. And I, very little. For, Platoon's a big movie, but... Mm-hmm. Again, I, now, I've been through the rough road now with my cinematographer Bob Richardson and my and my and Bruno and various various people and Alex Ho. So we made the movie at six million more efficiently than we did Salvador, because we were more experienced and we had all the usual problems of a jungle and heat and sticky and rain and all that shit. It, it wasn't easy, but we plowed through it because we were tough and. And lo, and behold, lo and behold, I mean, it really took off. I can't tell you how it took off right away. I mean, the moment there was a nothing movie where we a B film in the Philippines, sort of a Chuck Norris thing or something. Nobody g- gave a shit. And, you know, the moment we showed it, it was cut in a rough cut. People started reacting and gee, oh, my God, I've never seen anything like this. It's a reality that they did never seen before. A, rea- a grit, a reality, because I had gone into the details of what I had experienced. And that was missing from film, war films in general. I've seen a couple that are close Korean films, Korean war films, but at that time, uh, it was, now it's almost standard they do it, but it was hard to get the reality of the jungle and the perception of the jungle. And on top of it, it was critical. It was critical of the whole experience, which I think was the best part of it. It was a message saying this thing is a fraud. This thing, the whole fucking war was a fraud. There were three lies. I mention in the book, I go into the details, you know, the concept of friendly fire, people, Americans right. being killed by their own fire is much greater than people know. The concept of killing civilians in uh, in Vietnam was huge. I mean, it was very abundant and, and not always, but there was a lot of that going on and accidentally spillovers and stuff like that. And number three, the biggest lie of all was that we're here to win. We're here winning. And that was never true. From the beginning, it was never true. From 19... 19- 47 on it was never true when we got involved with the french so there was there's a lot of lying going on and i go back into the concept the theme of the lie and how the lie influences american life because my parents had lied so much to me uh, at the age of 16 they rip apart for, and i think we are the happiest family in the world but no it's not true what's going on boom here's what's happening lie 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 this is what I learned in my life, that people lie, and not necessarily out of malicious intent, but out of comfort or out of fear, various reasons. So that lie, which extends from the divorce in 62, extends into Vietnam, for sure, because that's all I see. I come back to the United States alive, uh, fucked up, <laughs> uh, a, lot of, a lot of Vietnamese dope over there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I learned a lot from the, actually from the black troops because they were, really, were into the music. I learned a lot about life, humanity, staying, about love in a way. It's, it's an interesting story. That's, it's a side story. I got into some of that in Platoon. Some of the Charlie Sheen's best uh, friends are black in that mm-hmm. movie. They, they, kept me, they kept me human. I stayed, I stayed closer to the and the character of Elias by Willem Dafoe is very important, too. Mm-hmm. He becomes a figurehead for the young man. You see him at the end of the war. He's divided, very divided. Uh, he's a man of two, fa- two fathers, he says. Uh, the so- two sergeants. The two sergeants represent polar opposites. And one of them, one sergeant kills the other. That's the, the crux of the movie. It's one sergeant after he reports after he's reported for a war crime, but the other sergeant kills that sergeant under the cover of battle, under f- friendly fire, and gets away with it, except that the young man sees it, and he has to get even. And it leads to its denouement, which is pretty strong, where, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, what happens. I, I mean, it doesn't sh- those, that kind of stuff doesn't get shown in war films. It's, if you look at the ref, even the ones that followed, it's generally speaking, to get the cooperation of the Pentagon, and the movie studios and all that, you you got to go along with the patriotic or the United States really cannot be criticized right, for any of right. its wars. Now, considering that we've lied our way into six or seven wars since World War II, I think the intelligence agencies have lied to us so much. And the lie persists in American life. I, this is a theme for me. Obviously, mm-hmm. you, I, you see it in JFK and you see it in 
It's a, you see it again and again and again. Snowden, my last one in 2016. I guess I'm the, the director who seeks out the lies. <laughs> <laughs> and exposes them. And that's something that you've been, uh, that's since the beginning. Since the beginning, almost. I can't help it. And don't believe me, it's gotten me in a lot of hot water. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, I could only imagine. Well, Oliver, I can only imagine. 